Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the Quarkus application. My name is Daniel O. I'm working for Red Hat as a technical marketing major. This video showcases how to implement a blocking gRPC service on Quarkus. Let's get started. So if you're not familiar with uh, gRPC service, so gRPC is a modern open source high performance RPC framework that can run any environment such as Java, Python, Go, JavaScript. You can also have efficient uh, connect service across data center with a pluggable support for load balancing and tracing and hash checking and authentication that is a required capability when you build microservices system. You can also have uh, applicable in last mile of distributing computing to connect to devices and mobile application and even web browser to backend application service here. I'm going to walk you through how Quarkus application uh, enables a uh, Java developer to consume the blocking RPG service. Okay, here's my uh, Quarkus application. Uh, just include a simple RESTful API, like a hello. And uh, first of all, we, we need to enable the gRPC service on top of the Quarkus. In order to do that, we need to add uh, Quarkus gRPC extension. Once you install gRPC extension, we're going to create a proto file because uh, the gRPC service are uh, described in a proto file, uh, which is a risk deeper method. So in this case, we're going to add some message exchange data as well as some service name here. So first, so we need to add the syntax type, the proto3, and a couple more the option, like a Java multiple files are true, and a package name whatever you need to define, like uh, me.daniel.grpc.proto. And also you can expose your uh, Java auto class name, like a hello world or hello world uh, proto. And here is the, uh, we need to uh, define the package name. And this is optional, you can define that. And the most important thing, we need to define the gRPC service here, the service name greeter and the, the RPC uh, the method here is to say hello uh, with the defining uh, exchange data like a hello request and hello reply. In order to define the messaging hello request and string name and the uh, uh, hello reply messaging also a string messaging. In order to generate uh, the Java classes like a stuff file uh, based implementation, we need to use a Maven compile command line. And once you compile down, you you can find that the product buff, uh, the generator file here in the, under the, the product buff directory. You can also using tree command line uh, to figure out the, the directory structure. So you can find the product directory, uh, gRPC Java, and also there are Java uh, messaging uh, stuff and the generate classes here. Let's take a little bit more the gRPC uh, service Java file here. You can find that the, jar, the, the RPC method already defined and generate the specific application logic and also your messaging uh, the Java classes here, hello reply and hello request. All right. So next step, uh, we're going to do run uh, this Quarkus application uh, just to make sure this application is totally working. So using uh, Quarkus dev mode, and then uh, just try to uh, access to uh, endpoint. We already have a default endpoint, the hello, uh, as a restful API. Okay, so here are the install features. So you can see that. And there are the gRPC extension already pulled down. And try to access 8080, the default pull in the Quarkus, and then return hello. Okay, this application totally working, even we after uh, add gRPC annotation. All right, and let's try to create a new service here. So we're going to implement new service. Uh, the name is hello service Java file. And then uh, using Quarkus to implement the service, uh, gRPC service, we need to extend the generate service based implementation here, grid or input base. And also we need to add a single tone CDI bin rather than application scope because gRPC service implementation cannot be proxied. Okay, we're going to override uh, the say hello uh, from uh, grid implementation base. And the parameter is a hello request and stream observer. We're going to define that. 
you know, just specify name and message variable here. And uh, we're going to add uh, the hello with the name as the message. And now uh, we're going to implement the method uh, which is defined in the service definition here in a single method. And then, and now to, to, to try to build and send a message using the response observer. Uh, and the last step, we're going to close this response uh, using oncomplete method here, the response observer dot oncomplete. All right. Okay, we just create a new service to uh, uh, override uh, the existing uh, gRPC service implementation. All right. So next step, we're going to create a new consuming uh, the blocking gRPC service here using uh, existing hello resource Java file. The so first of all, we're going to add injection with CDI beans using inject annotation as well as gRPC annotation. And this annotation, uh, we can use uh, the existing stop uh, gRPC classes that is generated when you read uh, did Maven compile. Uh, that came from uh, the proto file. And then uh, we're going to add a new endpoint method and a get method and a pass is a new parameter like a name and the public string hello and the, the pass param is the name. Uh, uh, we're going to pass the name and the string variable also name. Uh, we're going to define that. And the return is the, uh, we're going to invoke the the, the, the grid blocking stop class is here, client hello and the return code. Uh, and the parameter is a hello request and then we're going to new build uh, after set the name and the build the message here. All right. And the one thing uh, I just missed that uh, we needed to add the service name uh, in a, a gRPC service annotation here. Okay, uh, so we're gonna uh, name is hello here, and we're gonna use this name in our application property. So let's try to add a new uh, gRPC property, Quarkus gRPC client uh, host name. So we just define the hello, and uh, my host is a local host because I'm gonna run uh, this gRPC service server on my local machine because Quarkus uh, by default exposes gRPC server with 9,000. Port. And also the Quarkus provide the, the uh, provide the reflection capability when you enable that uh, reflection. So using GRP curve to uh, have the reflection list, and then now you can see the the default health mechanism in the GRP server, and also there are new uh, the reflection hello greeter. We just created that thing, and then let's try to nail down the. Uh, hello greeter and uh, say hello with the uh, pass down some parameter like uh, the name is Daniel O. So we uh, will be return uh, my name hello Daniel O as a return message. All right, it's pretty cool. So now we just uh, confirm the gRPC reproduction is totally working. So let's, now let's try to ask the actual endpoint like uh, with the endpoint. So the hello and Daniel O, uh, we got uh, the same result. But in this case, we're going to uh, use gRPC service here. OK, uh, just in order to recap what we learned today, we learned how to implement a blocking gRPC service using Quarkus application. Specifically, you just need to add the Quarkus gRPC extension as well as you just, you just need to define uh, proto file to generate the stop and base implementation classes, and then you just consume that gRPC service to, I mean, blocking gRPC service on your Quarkus application. And that's good, really uh, helpful for you. And thanks for watching today. And please make sure to subscribe for the next practical example. Have a good rest of the day.